Hello and welcome to an introduction to game physics for Unity 2019. My name is Samuel Asher Ravello. My mission in my career is to educate and entertain with interactive technology. I am a Unity certified developer with over 20 years of game development experience. In the last eight years, I've focused specifically on Unity, shipping Unity games for PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and more. Typically on projects, I'm a Unity game developer, or a Unity Tools developer, and I'm available for remote contract hire. First of all, physics is fun. Making games with physics is fun, and playing them is fun too. The gameplay mechanics are experimental, emergent, even educational. Some popular examples of physics-based games are Angry Birds, Cut the Rope, Trials, and Marble It Up. Let's take a look at the course overview. In Section 1, Intro to Physics, we'll look at the benefits of creating physics-based games. We'll look at the three major concerns of any physics system, and we'll review Unity's physics system and project setup. In Section 2, we'll look at Unity's 2D physics components. We'll start with the very important Rigid Body 2D and Collider 2D, and we'll move on to advanced topics, 2D effectors and 2D joints. We'll even look at a project that's in public beta called Unity Sprite Shape. In Section 3, we'll look at Unity's 3D physics components. First, we'll review the core principles of 3D, and then we'll move on to physics material, ragdoll, and terrain. In Section 4, we'll dive deep into Unity's C-sharp physics programming. We'll handle physics events, such as collisions and triggers. We'll add physics forces to move our objects around. And we'll look at the vital properties and functions we need for our physics. We'll even get into physics debugging. So if a problem arises in our code, we know how to solve it. In Section 5, we'll create a project from scratch using 2D, something like Angry Birds. We'll create projectile motion using our input, and we'll populate the world with obstacles that collide and destruct. In Section 6, we'll create a project from scratch using 3D, something like the 1980s classic game Marble Madness. We'll create a complete 3D game, we'll use physics forces to move our character around, and we'll populate the world with rigid body obstacles. In Section 7, we'll look at some advanced topics, best practices with physics, and how to optimize our projects, and then we'll apply what we've learned to real-world examples. We'll even look at the data-oriented technology stack, or DOTS, and the future of Unity Physics. Prerequisites for this course, you'll need a computer, of course, running Windows or Mac. You'll need a Unity editor and a code text editor. The free personal edition of Unity comes with both. Some basic skills are being required here, beginning programming knowledge of any language, and even a dozen hours or so specifically with Unity would be very helpful. But we'll cover those basics. And bring your passion. Bring a love of video games and a curiosity to learn something new. Goals of this course? Have fun with physics. Get an in-depth understanding of the physics system and bring it all together to create 2D and 3D games from scratch. You also have a chance to grasp some of the key advanced topics and understand more about the future of Unity Physics. So let's get started.